Hello everyone, it's me, Seafic. Welcome to a game that has shaped my young adult life into what it is today. Give it, no, stop that, stop it, stop it, no. This game made my interest in art. It is called... Ugh. Oh. If you ever watch the streams, you know I'm a big Japanese nerd boy. I'm sorry if you hear a strange background noise. That's my air conditioning unit going off. I am going to narrate this, by the way. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, here it is. Here it comes. I love paint. <coughs> long, long ago. In a timely hamlet known as... Okay. In a tiny hamlet known as Kamaki, lay nested in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. <coughs> no. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. In proper preparation for this game, I I had a, a bowl of ramen. Ah, uh, jeez. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast. A young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. <laughs> With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks. Its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. <coughs> not sure if my game audio is good or not. When the night of the sacrifice grew, drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. <clears throat> One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. A war the warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf. But his attempts were thwarted by Shirinui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into. The home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave 
in place of his beloved. <laughs> the Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Uluchi's home, as Nagi stood bravely before the entrance. A beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Uluchi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Olochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shirinui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing his fearsome claws, Shirinui leapt toward Orochi. Orochi reared his terrifying heads, readying his fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shirinui summoned a gust of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As Orochi closed in on Shirinui, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shirinui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shirinui Covered in gashes, majestic coat, dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow, but Shirinori refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. <coughs> the light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his sacred and battered arms. Sacred, scarred, he leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised high. 
and the golden sword dance in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villages was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shirinui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamaki. When they reached the village, Shironui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shironui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki village. In honor of Shirinui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Sukuyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. There's no other plant they live on, right? Hey -o! However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years had passed since Nagi and Shirinui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Oh, I have to adjust my emulator settings, cause holy shit. I can taste the choppiness. You guys can't see this, okay. That's nice to know. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Is this the legendary sword? This is... Is this Tsukiyomi? The sword that banished the dreaded Orochi. No. It couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. He who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds. Speak the words, I wish darkness unto the world. 
utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. A tiny settlement of Kamaki. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta mute myself quickly. Okay, I had to burp. The tiny settlement of Kamaki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Tits! <laughs> Wood Sprite Sakia. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. I can't do women voices. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There's no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now's the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Okami Amatalasi. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is Amatarasi. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. 
Yawn. Dog nap. Amaterasu. Gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vi uh, vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have the circumstances been worse. That they are at this, than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Eh? What is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Oh ho ho ho! Oh he he he! Phew! What on earth? Hey, it's a beetle. You again. Ow, 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 ow! Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting. That's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, bug? Bug? I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. Jones Crimson. The name's Isun. I'll show you just how great I am. And it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Where'd he pull that out from? Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, furball? Looking kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shirinui. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? I uh, don't know why I keep changing his voice. You crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You regret messing with the great Isun. Don't me use my prize sword Denkomaru against you. What's that growling noise? Sound. Nice. Why is it so dark, anyways? Oh, great god Amaterasu. I have used all the power I have to protect Kamaki Village. The village lives on, their spirit lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. Treat it to normal, huh? That Sakia girl sure said some weird stuff. 
The villager spirits are being kept inside the fruit? That's the fruit. That girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be reborn. Restored. I'm soon and I'm bad at quotation. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach that. I'm Sifik, I'm also bad at reading. He's not just really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Where are we? It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right analog stick to look around. The L1 button changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Right. And, oh shit, the controls are reversed. I... Ah, mm, mm, mm. Invert both axes. You know, my goodness, the music is something else. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, that's better. So, a little footnote on the Sakia chick. The reason why her butts and boob are exposed in weird peach-shaped markings is because peaches, in Japan, are a symbol of fertility. And she's a peach spirit. This is something I have to just have to note, you perverts out there. Hold on! That's an origin mirror! They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. But make sure you have what you need to save your progress. I'm talking about a memory card, 8 megabytes for PlayStation 2. Silly. And let me give you a little advice. You'd have a number of game files. That way, you could always go back if you're stuck or something. I just discovered I can skip his dialogue. You gotta be prepared, especially while you're learning the ropes. Oof. Dude, okay. All right. I do have to say, my little dog is an amazing, amazing little pupper. But uh, there is one little thing I have to note. I should not have eaten the amount of ramen that I ate. And... Yeah. Just like the dog, I'm, I'm a bit on the sleepy sides. So, I'm only going to make this episode like about 45 minutes. Maybe just 40 minutes around that time. I'm just letting you know it's going to be either longer or shorter depending on the nature of videos you watch. But you can also do this. You can be a yappy piece of shit. Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken. If you bust them there, if you bust them, 
<laughs> there might be something good inside. Press the square button to bust them with your head. Pottery! An adventurer's worst enemy. Always containing things like money. And food. Look at his money. I'm not sure if it's just me, but the money looks weird in this game. But then again, I am playing the PS2 version. And I grew up with the Wii version. So, some of these things are a bit odd looking to me, to some extent. This is what the uh, L1 button does, by the by. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on there, furball. Get a load of that yet. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press the X button to jump. And press the X button again to do a wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you can jump really high. Mm. I knew you could do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. You don't want to miss any treasure. Um, I'm not sure what to do about Isun's voice if I am going to continue the whole doing voices for characters thing. You can you can tell me in the comments if you watch this video. You want me to continue doing the thing where I constantly change what his voice sounds like? Or should I be a man and give him one voice? You obtained Holy Bone S. Matras's favorite snack restores three units of solar energy. Looks like the bridge is out. This shouldn't be so hard. Um, Amaterasu, was it? That's kind of loud. Mind if I call you Ami? Listen, Ami. Ever heard of the Spirits of the Brush? Good brushwork has its own soul, at least that's what they say. And just watch. I'd take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's brush god power. It can restore broken and missing things, like pottery. I practice really hard just to master this one technique. There are 13. Each one has a power, one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but... God, or no god. How could anyone have power to master all 13? River of the Heavens. River of the Heavens? You mean the fabled Stardust River? I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? A 
Okay, so he just repeats the same thing. What's up here? Wow, look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey look, are those storm forming a pattern or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. I guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Bah! Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press the R1 button. Press the R1 button to hold down the brush and then R1 button to draw. Which I spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. That's so off. This is gonna hate me. Ah, why if it isn't Mother Amaterasu? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the 13 spirits of the brush that you once possessed including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Wow, that was Yomigami, the god of your rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can we use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you're as good as with the brush as yours truly. That nah, could be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? I've heard of oblivious characters, but damn, this is something else. Yeah, we we know. Oh, I'm skipping over his dialogue. Eh. <laughs> There's no way you could pull off a stunt like that. Something about rejuvenating the Stardust Lake River. Actually, let me let me go back and see if he can repeat it so I can read it over. I wonder if drawing some Stardust to get the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you can pull off a stunt like that. Okay. Right, now this is where I pull off the stunt. Just gotta... gotta touch it. Nice. Whoa! Are we really sorry that? This really must be the river of the heavens. It's one kind of river. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing? Dumb. <laughs> it's a giant dick. Ah, <sighs> oh, the game auto filled in the end here, so it's not a perfect giant dick. But I mean, hey, it's a dick either way, right? 
Uh, I'm immature. What's in here? You obtain an astral pouch. Look what you found, furball. This astral pouch here is amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Then, when it's full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding with whatever food we can find around here. Money. More money. Nothing. You consume the apple. Nectar filled sour apple fills the astral pouch a bit. You consumed peach. Juicy and fragrant peach fills the astral pouch a little bit. So I'd have to eat 200 of these things. But there are a lot of things in the game that will instantly fill it, so I won't bother too much with food. Mmm, that sound. That beautiful audio. Is this... Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. Legendary Hugh and I is enshrined here. He vanquished it. He vanquished evil. One hundred years ago with the help of the white wolf, Shiranui. First river of the heavens. Now this place? Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See? That sword is really bad shape. God sure didn't do much to protect this place. Jesus. It's a soon an atheist god. I fixed the sword. That really was your brushwork all this time. How do you get so good? Who exactly are you anyway? Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like, uh... Didn't even spawn that time. Well, 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 if it isn't Mother Amaterasu. It's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine, dedicated to ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in, our, in your endeavors, I am at your service. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. Hey, how's your fantastic gallery? Master of the Slash Technique. Wait a minute. If you're getting all these powers, then you're just like that sure enough. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi. When Shirinui died, 
The wolf's power was split into 13 brush gods. This is crazy! Shirunui and Nagi? It's just like the legend! Well, anyway. I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off in that boulder over there? That sounds gay. Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a single line. Okay. I won't believe it till I see it. Wow! You didn't think you had any furball. Not even the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. Hey, furball! Uh, I mean, Amaterasu, I've made up my mind. If you're Shionui Reborn, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. Good god. I have a talking flea. <laughs> no use trying. When my brain lags out for a second there, I'm sorry. I had to yawn. <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Saki was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. <gasps> Crazy taxi arrow! Follow it! I'm leaving those two there as reminders. I, I destroyed something. I destroyed a lot of some things. Oh boy. Our first taste of combat. What the? Where'd they come from? Ah, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument on your back? Well, press the square button to use its power against them. Ow. Look, Ami, once you've caught them off guard, they turn, turn them black and white. Actually, more round than anything. They're easy prey for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash! Like that? That's actually a huge waste. You obtained the Spirit Globe M. Humanity's faith made solid, restores one unit of solar energy. You obtain Demon Fang. Fang forged in demonic hatred. Beautiful and deadly. You obtained Ink Bottle. Bottle full of ink. Fills one of Matarazu's ink pots. I didn't do this properly because I took damage. Because I forgot about the tutorial. Mmm, that waterfall sound is so beautiful. Oh, there you go. Second set. Let's go.
There we go. I did this one perfectly. 400 yen. God, I hate water in this game. It's so hard to move around. Right. And I'm unfortunately going to have to call that episode there. Because I'm sleepy. And this entire episode has just been one really long tutorial. Let's call this episode zero. Oh, jeez. <sighs> but don't worry, guys. Next episode... We're going to release Kamaki Village. Yeah!